Hello everyone, welcome to Full Text Tab. This is part 3 of interview questions and answers. If you have not watched previous parts of this series, please check those out. What is a SPA? SPA stands for Single Page Application in which we do not keep on loading our application again and again. Instead, we load the complete application on one go in the beginning. In a simple web application or a website, you must have seen different sections like left menu, right menu, the header and the footer. And you must have observed that when we load such websites, sometimes left menu or any other section takes more time in loading completely, while the other parts are already loaded successfully. Also, when you click on any hyperlink from the menu, the complete process is repeated again. But in case of single page application, the complete UI gets loaded at the beginning. Also, on click of any such hyperlink, we only load the specific UI from the server and hence we experience performance improvement. So we can conclude that SPA is a single page application in which we load the complete website at once and in a single page. Also if a user wish to redirect to a specific hyperlink, then only the related data gets loaded from the server instead of reloading the complete dataset. Now they might also ask you how we can implement a SPA in Angular. Also, is it possible to create a non-SPA Angular application? So the simple answer to this tricky question is yes. We can create a non-SPA Angular application, but that would mean I'd have to create a full Angular application for each page I want in my application. And that would make a lot of trash code, so ideally we should not do so. Now let's come to the original question, that is how we can implement SPA which has a direct answer. That is, we can use Angular routing to implement SPA. Which is our next connected question. What is Angular routing? Now, any Angular application that we create is going to have multiple components. Each component with its own view. So, we need a way to navigate between different views. And for this purpose, we use Angular Router. Let us understand it more by looking at this routing collection that I have prepared. By simply looking at it, we can see that a router comprises of two properties. First is path, that is a string that specifies the URL and then the component, which specifies the component to be loaded for its corresponding path. So if you go and navigate to localhost employee URL, then employee component will get loaded. How this is working internally is what I'll be explaining in the next answer. So let's move to our next question in line how to implement routing in Angular. For understanding the implementation of router, let us create a short and simple demo. In this demo, we are going to learn how to switch between two different views with button clicks. Here, we have a default view consisting of two buttons. First one is employee button and the second one is student. I have already created these two components, student and employee, having their own view containing dummy list. You can get this source code from my GitHub, link is provided in the description. Now, the first thing we need to include is the base tag in our index.html file. We can add it as a child to the head tag and set the value of href attribute as a forward slash. This is required so that our Angular application knows how to construct the URLs while navigating. Now, in the src app folder, we must have a file app-routing module which will contain our routing configuration but before configuring the routes let us import app routing module in app module in the imports array just like this. Now let's backtrack a little to our routes module file and configure our routes. Here we have a const routes where we will be defining all the possible routes of our application as object with two properties path and component. Now if we navigate to path employee then we will be redirected to the employee component. And if we will navigate to path student, then we will be redirected to the student component. But wait a minute, how will the routing engine know where we should display these components? And the answer is by adding router outlet directive. We can add the router outlet directive in our app component HTML file, which is also the last step. Now let us see it in action. You see that on click of the student button, we are presented with the student list. And if I click on employee button or if we change the route to localhost slash employee, then we can see the employee list. 
also this loading is not impacting the rest of the sections so this is angular routing in action our next question is what is lazy loading in angular so guys before answering this I want you to know that this is one of the most important feature provided by angular and in almost every angular interview this question is asked now you must remember that by default all the angular modules in our application starts loading as soon as the application is loaded so we can say that by default ng modules are eagerly loaded now imagine of a way to load a module only when it is necessary this is lazy loading in simple language lazy loading is a feature that allows us to load a module when a specific route is activated and hence it boosts the application load time now let us see lazy loading in action you can see that I have created two modules feature one module that have the student component and the feature two module it is having employee component I am opening developer console to show you that if I search for student component that is inside the feature one module I can see that it is loaded in our application and can be found and so is the employee component from the feature two module but now after configuring lazy loading here you will observe that since we have loaded only feature one module we are only able to load the student component or the student module and if I'll search for employee component which is residing in module 2 it cannot be found but once I load feature 2 by clicking here on the employee button or directly loading it via the URL then our application will load the employee module as well now imagine this on a large scale for a large application and you will know the benefit of this amazing feature you can find this source code in our github the link is provided in the description our last question for this part is how you can protect our route from being accessed or what is an auth guard so guys you can consider auth guard as a simple guard that prevents unauthorized access or in more simple words auth guard decides whether a specific route can be navigated or not based on the condition or logic that we write inside can activate method if can activate returns true then only the routes get accessed otherwise not let us see it in action you can see that whenever we hit localhost slash employee in the URL we are getting redirected to employee component as we have configured now for this demo I have implemented can activate method for our employee list component and inside can activate method I have written this condition to only return true when we have is admin as true in our local storage so I'm going to open my developer console again to show you that we have is admin key in our local storage that is containing value as true so we are able to access the URL but in any case if our condition in can activate method falls we won't be able to access the employee route let us now deliberately delete this is admin key from our local storage and check if we still can access the employee route nope we cannot since the can activate method is now returning false and our route is hence protected from any kind of unauthorized access if you want to download the source code for this demo you can find the URL in the description so guys since this series is only about interview questions and answers I'm not diving deep into the coding part but remember these topics are very important so I'm trying my level best to make you visualize these topics with the examples but if you still have any sort of doubt or queries, please feel free to reach out to us via the comment section. Thank you for watching.